one. Okay, if you guys have questions, uh, just start asking. So. Hello, Leilani. <laughs> really, you must have other stuff to do than join the A-Push review. <laughs> very funny, Rick. Like Hedro said, the drip report is very good. Hey, Mitzi's question, uh, what's the diff What's the significance of virtual versus actual <laughs> representation? That's the whole revolution, some would say. So the colonists wanted expected uh, actual representation. That's what they're used to with their with their colonial legislators, okay? The British uh, king and parliament felt like virtual representation was sufficient. So they considered them making decisions, but that's that's it. You know, that was my analogy with the um, with the, uh, your, your family dinners. Your parents are good. Consider what you want. They don't necessarily ask you. Thanks, Leilani. You'll, you'll have to stop by sometime. <clears throat> um, Pranavi, I don't know what you mean by like the order of events, like starting from where to where. Keith, uh, answer the French Angle conflict, like the French, the French, um, French, French Indian War. I don't know if that's what you're asking. Okay, SNA Studios. Yes, the test will be short answer again. Short answer, multiple choice, just like that. It's like that for the rest of the way. Uh, Hadar's question: the significance of the Proclamation of 1763. That's when the king. That's the one end of solitary neglect, and when the king. Um, it says we can't go west of the Appalachian Mountains, okay? And so that's, again, from going from making our own decisions to now the king telling us that we can't, uh, that angers a lot of colonists, and in particular because, remember, land equals wealth. Um, that is a burden on all the colonists. Okay, Pranav, you're going to have to ask a more specific question than the general timeline. That's something that you can kind of look at. And you guys feel free to um, feel free to answer each other's questions if you know the answer to that. <clears throat> okay, I uh, had a question about the country. Oh my God, you guys have a lot of questions. The uh, country wigs. The country wigs were the people that considered the uh, English <clears throat> the, the English government to be corrupt. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe the easiest way to think about that is you think about the people in the Western frontier that. The Eastern government is corrupt. Okay, Will's question: The Albany Plan. The Albany Plan of Union was uh, Ben Franklin's plan for like the thirteen colonies to get together and like unite, um, just like the Native Americans were. <coughs> People think that was kind of silly. Probably asked question: The significance of mes American domestic manufacturing. So it picks up after uh, after we go to war, and the British uh, cut off um, obviously cut off trade during the war, and so it stimulates American manufacturing. Well, I mean, the first industrial revolution starts late late 1700s. Uh, and it kills question: Why is Bunker Hill so important? <laughs> it's the first major battle um, between the British and the colonists. That's where the British lost a lot more soldiers. I think three times as many as the colonists, even though. "Quote unquote," won the won the battle. Okay, Madeline had the question of the country wigs. Same thing. I think the the country wigs were people that criticized the uh, uh, criticized the British um, 
the British government and thought they were corrupt and essentially kind of plants the seed there for the American Revolution. <laughs> Jacob's question, who's Joe? Joe Mama. Ah, thank you. Uh, Prachi's question, Bunker Hill show. Okay, thank you. Uh, Sean, you must have missed the review in class. Women's reforms? Um, afterwards, the, what nothing really changed for them. Uh, kind of the uh, <clears throat> kind of the uh, patriarchy was strengthened. Uh, they did, you know, get the added responsibility of Republican motherhood. As for slavery, northern northern states banned slavery. Southern states made it easier, and actually, some in, like Virginia encouraged you to uh, states to to free their slaves. Some of them banned the importation of slaves. Actually, everyone but uh, Georgia and Carolina. Okay. Uh, BOMC after the revolution, because they are now states, nation states. No, I would, I would not consider Lexington and Concord the first battle. Okay. Hello, Matt. <laughs> Okay, Prachi's question, how did the Indians affect the war exactly? I mean, them saying they probably affected it. So someone decided with the, some tribes did side with the British, uh, some didn't, uh, because they didn't really pick a side. I mean, they might have been able to tip the war, I guess, one way or the other. Uh, Haydar's question, burning the gas bay, that's when uh, the British tax collecting ship was burned offshore. Uh, I wouldn't say it was Island, but it's one of the northern colonies. And when they went looking for uh, people that did it, everyone like claimed they didn't know. So that, you know, one of the basis, part of the basis for like trying people to win because you won't be able to get anyone to, to convict anyone. Brendan, impressive. You remember the gas bay. Benjamin, that's a terrible way to ask a question about women's rights. You guys from last year really do need more homework. Christina, the significance of the Second Continental Congress. Think about all the things that uh, they accomplished during the Second Continental, Con Second Continental Congress. Uh, Compton's question, what made the war last so long? I don't know. It didn't go so well in the beginning. Remember, not until the French really jumped in did it uh, begin to get better. Sean, you can look that up. What were the coercive acts, also known as the intolerable acts? Remember, if you can Google it, you can answer it yourself. Kyle's question about the first Continental Congress. Um, again, you, well, you think about what first Continental Congress, they weren't ready to break away. They sent off the Olive, Olive Branch petition, if you remember that set, scene from John Adams, um, as well as they sent the king a list of their grievances, but they definitely weren't ready to get away. And they decided to meet again, which became the second Continental Congress. That has a question about King William's War and Queen Anne's War. I don't think those are terms, so I wouldn't worry about those. Karan's question, um, the, uh, hold on, actually, I'm going to go back up. Holy cow, hold on. Trying to find out where I'm at. The 
the state constitutions, they drafted all those after uh, they declared independence. And so a lot of them have rights, <clears throat> the rights outlined for the people, uh, freedom of religion. I mean, that's significant. Uh, a lot of states uh, had the people elect the governor. Again, if you think about the think about the articles, radicals versus conservatives, um, that's where it t takes place. Okay, Wolfbrick, I'm not sure I understand your question about the Whigs on the colonies. Hey, Dar, you can look up the course of acts. Anything you can look up, you don't have to ask here. Um, Lizzie's question about the <clears throat> Battle of Fallen Timbers. That's just the battle that it, it opened up more settlements to the West. So the story with Native American with Native Americans is that there's battles that kind of force them to cede land to the Americans and it just opens up more settlements. Battle of Fallen Timbers is like the first one. Prachi's question about the gas bay. No, the Declaratory Act is after the Stamp Act was repealed. Okay. Um, after the burning of gas bay, they wanted to try people in Britain because they didn't think they could have a fair trial in the colonies. Andrew's question about the First and Second Continental Congress. Look that up. Uh, Benjamin's question. It's not so much making your children citizens, but preparing them to be good uh, citizens in a democracy. It's the same idea, but slightly different. Ray's question. No, you won't be tested on the order of the X. Um, Tess's question about the committee's correspondence. Again, when you think about the, when you think about the, uh, again, the theme of the colonists getting um, becoming closer. So they start off as 13 independent colonies, become 13 states that rebel against the king, committees of correspondence are one of those things. Stamp Act, Congress, committees of correspondence, <clears throat> First Continental Congress, Second Continental Congress. Rotham's question, yes, course of and <clears throat> entire blocks are the same. Oh, yeah, the American advantage is what helps them win the war. The Mayor P, that's a great question. And Lily, I, actually, the committee's correspondence, actually, it's not the first time. I think Stamp Act Congress is actually first. Um, significance about Native Americans in the war, you have to know what they did. Uh, Karan's question about the olive branch petition. It's just they, they sent sent an olive branch to the king trying to make peace. And the king rejected it and declared them all traitors. I got way too many <clears throat> people from last year in this chat. Committees of correspondence was them just communicating. First Continental Congress, uh, S. Wara's question. Uh, First Continental Congress, they actually met. That's a big difference. Zainab's question. I don't know if quite what you're asking. The British versus colonial view following the French. I mean, I guess how they viewed the war, but that doesn't quite make sense to me. Sean's question about American domestic manufacturing is like what it sounds. Where did we used to get manufacturing goods from? It was from England, but now we're at war. We're not getting it from them. So how do we get manufactured goods? We make it ourselves. Uh, 
uh, Elda, I don't know if that's how you say the name. Uh, social reforms, yes, happened after the Revolutionary War. So again, after the Declaration of Independence, all the promises kind of with the Enlightenment and the, the Declaration, um, people expected it after the war. Tanshu's questions, Sam Adams, I, get, I think he's just most closely associated with the Sons of Liberty and everything they did. Um, a devious question. No, the Stamp Act Congress, they set up the boycott. And actually, it's one of the things uh, Sons of Liberty helped, it, um, helped enforce. So they set up the boycott, you know, and how to resist this. I mean, I think the key takeaway is that they're talking with one another. Christina's question, the significance of Shay's Rebellion. Shay's Rebellion is the thing that told him that like, the articles definitely did not work. Rachi's right, the 8 by 11s are not on the test. Boston Tea Party is organized by Sons of Liberty. Uh, Nikhil, good question. Not really sure, honestly. I'm sure they did. But if you're the Native American tribes, I don't know. You're damned if you do and damned if you don't. I don't know if the British are necessarily better than the colonists themselves. I guess King George did issue the proclamation of 1763. Good answer, Lily, on the differences between the Continental Congress and Communities of Correspondence. That, uh, no, you don't need to know the names of the French people helping. <clears throat> Hadi's question, or Hadar's question, then Hadi's response to Paxton Boys. It's um, we talked about last unit because prematurely, but it's actually in this year, I think chapter four. It's one of the east west conflicts when you talk about radicals versus conservatives. Hello, Joel. Tessa's question regulators movement, same thing. It is one of the it's part of the east west conflict. Okay, Tableen, your question about Sam Adams is way too broad. Shays, we've already answered the Shays question earlier. It, uh, it it signified the weakness. I mean, the articles were too weak and needed to be changed or actually replaced. Quran, if daughters of liberty are not in the terms, the answer is no. Weedle, because I'm sure you deserved it. You're probably using some other screen name or asked a silly question. Uh, it didn't help. Uh, I mean, it led to the constitutional convention. I mean, uh, it might be too strong to say it helped create a stronger constitution. Uh, Rio's question, what acts did Parliament enforce to directly regulate colonial trade? Probably none. <laughs> they had the Navigation Acts that just wasn't enforced. Thank you, Nathan. Yes, most of the answers were already, most of the questions were already answered. You can look it up. David's question about women in the war, I mean, they replaced men where they needed to, but I mean, I don't think that's a significant part. 
Sean's question, you should know the colonial response. I mean, it's, it won't necessarily be like they did this and what did the colonials, colonists do, but uh, you should know they're trying. That's kind of the story. Uh, we already answered the question about the Paxton boys. It's East West conflict. Um, good question about the American Revolution being a civil war, but it's not because it's not between equals. I mean, I don't know. If you can ask some other story about that. Question about the land ordinances. It, it set up a process for creating territory, moving territories into statehood. That's the whole grid thing. Uh, uh, Tanishka, I'm going to put your name. Sorry. Uh, they didn't really fight for the rights. They just replaced men. I mean, the whole idea, again, of promising equal rights and all men are created equal is not lost on them, but they're not really in a position to do anything. Hey, Jake, you're creepy. Um, uh, Lizzie, I wouldn't really worry about the difference between 70, <clears throat> the land ordinances of 1785 and 1787. Uh, Nikhil's question. Let's see. Hold on. You guys are talking too fast now. Okay, hold on. You guys are talking way too fast. Um, let's see. Uh, Vedica, yes, the test will be the same. So multiple choice and short answer question, 55 minutes. Sean, the regulators were east-west conflict. We already answered that. Lovely, thank you for your answer on the land ordinances. Um, ben, Ben's question about the war financing. It's just when we borrow money, I mean, France loaned us a bunch, but other people did too. Okay, Jonathan, I don't understand your question about the turning point for the colonists. Um, see, yeah, there there was a tea tax, but um, they rescinded it, and then the later tea act is just the monopoly for the East India Tea Company. Uh, Mitzi, we answered the question about committees correspondent. It's just another instance of the colonies getting closer together. Okay, the kills question. I think I already answered this. Um, in terms of uh, positive side, land ordinances, Northwest ordinance, uh, those are pretty good. Uh, positives of the articles. Oh my God, check the earlier chat for burning the gas bay. Hey, are you stamp at Congress? Oh, come on, we talked about that in class already. Jason, S College Board for your score. If 
Well, actually, neither Lexington nor Concord, uh, Lexington Concord nor the Boston Massacre were the tournament. I think probably once the Olive Branch petition was rejected, that's the turning point. No coming back from that one when he de- when the king declares everyone traitors and he's going to hang them. Uh, I mean, they, the Olive Branch petition is after both of those things. Uh, Jonathan, that's a good question. What made the Collins want independence first? It's taxation and the resistance taxation. Then this idea that they had rights. Uh, really, it's the whole story of building up to the revolution. Uh, Quran, this it's, it's the slavery, the reforms towards slavery. I'm not quite sure what your question is. Andrew's question about the uh, Collins being upset, its I think it's just that the, the king is forcing them to do that. its Yeah, even though it's cheaper with the T, uh, just the idea that they have no choice, it's probably what irks them. How do, well, the, the Americans are angry with them probably because they didn't join them in the war. Oh, Sean, you can look up Salter and Neglect. It are the Sugar Act. It's just, it's one of the acts. I mean, one of the first acts uh, in terms of getting of ending Salter and Neglect. Proclamation 1763 is the first one. Sugar Act is probably the second one. I mean, even though it lowers uh, taxes on molasses and makes it cheaper, it's just, again, the, the crown trying to reestablish control. Shahab, no, the Iroquois Confederacy is them getting together. It's a confederation. Yeah, I hope you're kidding about the Battle of Yorktown. Quran, uh, reforms on slavery, yes. The North banned slavery. South allowed manumission. All the states, uh, southern states besides Georgia and South Carolina um, stopped the importation of slavery. Uh, Cameron, the women's rights changed, uh, after the war, they picked up the responsibility of Republican motherhood. And after that, besides that, nothing really changed, especially for married women. Uh, Ben's question, not if they're not on the terms. Uh, see the earlier chat for the country wigs question. Salatory neglect, you can look up. Yes, look up the social reforms for women and African Americans. You guys have asked that repeatedly on this uh, review. We've talked about it, and the book talked about it.
Awesome one. We don't have to know, know the timeline, although it helps. Oh, yeah, Ind indoctrination is too strong a board. Awesome one. You can look up virtual and actual representation. That's the uh, that's the sticking point between the colonists and the uh, the crown. It pushes God. The Olive Branch re, uh, petition is rejected because they essentially are borderline in rebellion now. But see, the, it's not the significance of the advantage, just knowing that they had advantages that helps play out the war in terms of who's going to win and who's not. Uh, that's funny, Emma. Uh, not losing patience, just a lot of goofiness. Stuff that you guys necessarily wouldn't say in class, but you feel free to say it in chat, even though your name's there. Andrew's question about Bunker Hill, that was a, probably the first major battle of the war. The British lost three times as many, uh, had three times as many casualties as the Americans, but they, you know, quote, unquote, in their victory. This kind of the idea that it's going to be a long war. It's not going to be something that's solved overnight or even in a week or two. Uh, I must question about the female camp followers. I don't think that's really specific. Uh, Claire, remember the pizza. That's good. The French helped the colonists because they hate Britain. Cameron. The declaratory act, I don't know if it's so much unnoticed, but it's, well, it's the idea that they can, you know, and just kind of like saying it out loud, even if you don't follow up on it. Uh, when they left Boston, I think they went to New York. Uh, very funny, Brendan. Um, significance of the Iroquois Confederacy. Again, they remain neutral. Uh, we already answered the question about the difference between 1785 and 1787. Probably not that important. So, Tanishka, the only if it's in the terms. Again, you guys cross reference with the terms to know what's most important. Um, Nikhil's question about the Republican motherhood. Yeah, so now that we have a democracy, um, now that we have a democracy, you have to be able to prepare people to live in a democracy and be active participants. Sean, that's something you guys went over in class, I think. So uh, I would leave it at that. Ben, that's a Northwest Orange, that's a big part of it. I mean, it helped organize the territory as well. So Brianna's question and everybody else, if it's not in the terms, you don't need to know it.
I mean, yes, taxes, duties or taxes. Oh, good job, Cameron. Uh, Lena, studying the terms, you should be fine, but you need to know more than just like one aspect of it. Cameron LGPT was uh, the Townsend duties. Gosh, now you should know how we fin- how we finance the war. Don't answer the question bet- about internal the difference between internal and external taxes. Uh, Cameron, your question about the internal versus external. Um, ben Franklin was telling the English that they didn't think the Americans would mind external, just not the internal. I agree with Ben. Yes, I mean, really, you must have something else to do. Uh, on a Sunday night. Uh, No, Cameron, the question, we financed most of the war by borrowing. It's just beforehand, it wasn't much to actually do anything. I mean, you can look up the Grenville program. Prachi, we talked about the land ordinances in class in terms of going from statehood to uh, territory or from, I'm sorry, territory to statehood. Job. Yes, all the tests are like that in terms of the test answers. Can someone answer Drew's question about the regulators? Thank you. Uh, Zaki's question, the difference between land ordinance and northwest ordinance? Land ordinance set up the process for territory statehood. Again, northwest ordinance sets up some other rules, including no slavery in the territory. Andrew, uh, Andrew, the Protestant work ethic is just working hard. Like It's like Puritans. No fun, simple, straightforward. Just work hard.
Okay. Hard to find actual questions you guys have. Uh, regulators are technically in North Carolina. Anishka. Uh, Reagan, we don't need to know about three phases of the war. Okay, Ben, I'm assuming you mean Townsend duties. Uh, Lena, yes. Uh, actually, the Declaration of Independence, again, is, is based off of like all the prior uh, documents. Compton, not really. Probably some did for the British, but not really. Maybe even fewer for the Americans. Quebec was actually still more French, I mean, than um, than British. Shahab, they were from tax collectors from England. Uh, meant how the it wasn't so much Quebec acts, it was the other things. My God, how did so many random people show up on this thing? Um, Uh, nine, it's it's about a third. Well, I mean, if you don't support the Patriots, you're not going to help them out with supplies or anything like that. And this guy, they, after the burning of Gas Bay, they wanted to bring people back to England for a trial because they didn't think they'd ever convict anybody in the colonies. Good answer on the committee's correspondence, Santanshu. Thank you, Didier. I'm trying to do it myself, but it's hard, hard doing it and talking at the same time. Uh, Tanishka, not random people on trial, people like that burned down the gas bay. They just didn't think they'd ever be able to convict anybody in the colonies. I mean, um, other way around, Catholicism was, well, I'm sorry, um, Church of England was weak in Catholicism, just because it's not Church of England. Uh, Emma, you can, but it's kind of hard. I, well, I mean, I suppose other people could, but I'm doing trying to do it myself. <clears throat> Good answer, Lily. Cushy, if you searched the chat earlier, somebody, I think it was Cameron, actually wrote on how you should write the short answer. You guys talked about it in class. Well, we talked about it in class. You're in my class. <clears throat> Tanshu, it's, it's not in the terms and no.
Uh, then they marched for a while. Eventually, they were able to raise the militia to put down uh, Shay's Rebellion, but it was scary that it took so long. Ben, no FRQs, just SAQs. Uh, Shahab, yes, punishment after the Tea Party. Ben, no, the, the Shay's Rebellion, it didn't stay in power, but it, it took too long to put it down. That's the scary part. <clears throat> 55 questions again. How did so many random people show up on this channel? Ben, state constitution was created after they declared independence. Tess Shea was mad because they were getting taxed. That's how Massachusetts was paying off the war debt. And if you couldn't pay the taxes, then you um, then you uh, lost your land. Hey, Papa Smurf, I'm not sure what you mean by that, but uh, <laughs> come talk to me one day about it. Well, I don't know if the, how the Collins reacted to the Declaratory Act. Probably not much, but the Townsend duties came shortly thereafter. They each got probably some slaves, but it was a pretty small number at the end of the day. Madeline, the loyalists were just loyal to the crown. I mean, that makes it hard to have a revolution when you have a third of the people loyal to the crown. Dickinson letters, um, I mean, they were part of it. I don't think that was a turning point. Andrew, some people say it was turning point was when the Olive Branch petition got rejected. Uh, Shahab, the uh, war finance, how did they pay for the war? I mean, yes, the article, uh, the North, Northwest Ordinance was a success. Uh, ben, the difference between those two, I think it's Massachusetts circular letters just informing like in terms of their resistance to the taxes. And did he, uh, they were supposed to be reimbursed, but that's, you know, uh, compensated for their losses. That's part of the reason why the British never left the Northwest Forts or were slow to leave the Northwest Forts.
uh, Nia, I imagine they went <laughs> somewhere to take advantage of their freedom. So, I don't understand your question whether it was better or worse. Uh, somebody answered Nick Hill's question about and his answer about slavery after the war. So Ming, uh, state constitutions are for the state. So remember, the states are all powerful during the uh, Articles of Confederation. Uh, national government's weak until they form a constitution. Uh, Tanishka, yes, those are the important battles. Uh, Lily, the Treaty of Paris defined the boundaries of the new American nation and that Britain recognized them as a country. State constitutions are important because that's what they're, uh, that's what's governing the, their state. Did he, they had the trial with John Adams. That's what you guys watched the video of. Oh, sure. Yeah, John Adams. No, he's one of the. He's the leading voice for independence at the Continental Congress. Um, Ben, common sense also criticizes again the English Constitution. That's wrong. A island governing a nation. That's wrong. Emma, you're right about relative peace after the Boston Massacre. Zaki, no, the uh, South Carolina and Georgia still imported slaves and the North didn't do anything like that. Rhea, that's, yeah, that's the joke. Treaty of Paris is, ends a lot of wars in the beginning. Sebastian, uh, that's probably right about the state constitutions. Oh, Prachi, the significance of the chorus of X? That's what it turned from, instead of like being about collecting revenue, it turned punitive. And the first continent of Congress met because of the chorus of X. I uh, don't need to know war strategies. Okay, if you guys are going to argue about your grades and stuff, you get banned. Shahab Shays was actually a farmer and a Revolutionary War veteran. Christina, slaves did not really benefit.
Parker, the the uh, farmy was stopped by a militia. Thank you, Tanishka. Shab, the way it's going, and it'll probably end at eight because a lot of goofiness. Um, Arushi, no, they weren't convicted. You remember the video? Treaty of Paris is between the colonists and the uh, the British. Yes, Emma, a push never ends. No, probably the second they were going to meet anyways for the second Con continental congress it, um this all that stuff happened but after the end of the first continental congress one of the things they did decide was to meet again morning review is in ignati's class Became general in the Second Continental Congress. Uh, Proxy the Second made the army. They made the Declaration of Independence and uh, named George Washington as Colonel. Because why were people loyalists? Because it's hard to break away. I mean, they all thought of themselves as British subjects. So, thank you, George, for the shout out. Yes, they do have uh, questions. You should take advantage of it. Test the the British tried to hurt the uh, hurt the colonists, so they told the slaves like, "Hey, if you," um, they. Uh, Told the slaves if you run away we'll give you your freedom and that actually angered the southerners uh zaki no the paxton boys the east west conflict Drewby just talked him out of it i'm pretty sure the paxton boys No, first in the first Continental Congress, they weren't really thinking about weapons yet. So the Gaspé, look it up. They uh, they wanted to try people in England. Drew, they always had the right to pass any laws. They're just kind of stating it out loud. You're welcome, Nikhil. Can somebody answer the question uh, about the domestic manufacturing? Um, we've had several on that tonight. Letters from Pennsylvania Farmer Dixon letter. They're just protest letters against the taxation. You're welcome, Kyle. Yeah, second continent to Congress Compton was when they declared independence.
Yep. And because we didn't have a source of manufactured goods, we had to start making it ourselves. Thank you for the very specific reference, Lily. You're welcome, Shab. Okay, a few more minutes. Any uh, last questions? You're welcome for the review, everyone. No problem. We figured this was easier than trying to do a review Friday after school. Battle of Fallen Timbers, you guys already forgot it. And Tip of Canoe. We covered that in class. The Miami tribe, not the city of Miami. Oh, Brendan's still on the chat. Holy cow. <laughs> okay, good night, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow in class.